Billionaire Elon Musk promised to give away $1 million each day until November's election to someone who signs his online petition pledging support for the First and Second Amendments. The first check went to an attendee at Musk's America PAC event in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania on Saturday, aimed at rallying supporters behind Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. The winner was a man named John Dreher, according to event staff. The First Amendment protects free speech, and the Second Amendment protects the right to keep and bear arms. The money is the latest example of the Tesla and SpaceX CEO using his extraordinary wealth to influence the tightly contested presidential race between Trump and his Democratic rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. But questions about the legality of Musk's cash payments abounded over the weekend, as election law experts pointed to various provisions in federal law that prohibited making cash payments to voters. It is a federal crime to pay people with the intention of inducing or rewarding them to cast a vote or to get registered, an offense punishable by prison time. Attendees of Saturday's event had to sign the petition, which allows America PAC to garner contact details for more potential voters that it can work to get to the polls for Trump. Musk, ranked by Forbes as the world's richest person, so far has supplied at least $75 million to America PAC, according to federal district. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahawashai, meaning he is our salvation. And that is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so-called black man. And from the clip that was played just now, you see billionaire uh, tech mogul or whatever you want to call him, Elon Musk, has incentivized anyone to sign a petition regarding the First and Second Amendment leading up until the election, will receive $1 million each day, okay? Now, this could come back to bite the Trump uh, Vaden uh, administration or whatever you want to entitle it, you know, because they can cause or they could say that, you know, Elon Musk, which is tied in with, you know, Trump as one of his starch supporters, it's, it, it's influencing the uh, the election, okay? Now, it says he's giving a million dollars to one person a day in, up until the election, He's and he has already given $75 million out already, all right? Now, they say you can't give money to people to uh, sway them to vote one way or another, so what does he do instead? He's giving out money to sign a petition. So it's not directly giving money to somebody to vote for Trump, but it's still indirectly, you know, being tied in together or it could look like it's being tied in together to what? Persuade one person to vote one way or another, okay? Because, you know, you got a lot of people that's probably signing these petitions just to have that chance to get that million dollar, you know, prize, okay? And we don't <clears throat> we don't know how this is going to come back to bite, you know, the Trump, uh, the Trump Vaden or whatever vice president is running with him campaign. OK, we don't know. All right. And it can all be by design. So, you know, this is where this is where it is. All right. And this is where it's going. This is the word tampering. Tamper. And one of the definitions is interfere with something in order to cause damage or make an unauthorized, uh, unauthorized alteration. Someone tamper with the brakes on my car. So they could use that and come back and say, oh, well, he tampered with the election, you know, by uh, pretty much, you know, uh, swaying people to sign a petition. And then once they came there to the rallies, you know, 
they persuaded the people. I talked to the people and, you know, got them going and asked them questions. And next thing you know, they was they, you know, presumably came here to get the million dollars or to sign a petition for the million dollars. It could have been a uh, a Harris and Waltz, uh, you know, vote, but got there amongst the uh, people there at the at the rally for Trump. And swayed their and swayed their direction from going to Harris to Trump, so it could go either way. Okay, it may seem insignificant right now, but this could potentially, you know, cause a what? Cause a a you know. I don't want to say a mistrial because that's what you use in court, but this could potentially cause some type of ruckus or chaos. If they find a way to claim that because Elon is tied in together with Trump and because of this million dollars or uh, this million dollar giveaway a day leading up into the election could have potentially uh, swayed people, especially in these swing states where these things are being held that, you know, they could, you know, give the vote to uh, Harris and she could win by some type of technicality or whatever. All right. So whatever it is, you know, we're just telling you to be prepared. Be ready for, for chaos, man. You know, you can never be too prepared, man. All right? This man, Esau Edom, is known for all type of devices, okay? And that's what we're going to bring out. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let's get it. All right, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. It reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices you see and that's why we warning the people man forget all this voting and stuff man this is all part of the game all right they already they already decided who they're going to select for this next president if it if it even gets that far all right but you the people are heavily invested in this okay and you so-called blacks latinos and native americans hey you got no business investing in yourselves in this society, man, because this is already, this society is on its way out the door, man. Let these heathens partake in this, okay? Because you're going to find yourself in the midst of a riot where the military is going to be called in and the police and they can use lethal force, okay? They got it on the books already, all right? We can't keep warning you, but so much, all right? Once the lights go out, and you have no way of knowing what's going on, you're going to have to find out the hard way, all right? So let's read that again. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, right? And they're two uh, feathers on the same bird, man. You know, they just giving you that illusion, all right? But it's still being spearheaded by the same entity, okay? Whether it's the left side or the right side, it's still in the same head, all right? We read that uh, Revelation 13, 11. You know, I saw another beast come up with two horns like a lamb, but he spoke as a dragon, all right? Showing you that, hey, whether it's the left horn or the right horn, it's still on the same head, all right? And he, pres and he presents himself as a lamb, you know, not to be threatened, but he spoke as a dragon. And you go into that word dragon as dracon, and some of the ways he speaks as a dragon is by his draconian measures. You know, these laws that he put into effect and things of that magnitude, all right? But see, Jake don't want to take, you know, heed, all right, until it's too late. And if you continue to follow after the way of the heathen, you're going to find out the hard way, all right? So that's why we're warning you, you know, be prepared for whatever, all right? Leading up until the election and after the election, all right? Just be prepared. This is a Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. It reads, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Right. And they can use something like this for temperance, saying, Well, hey, those people only came to these rallies, you know, to put their name on the petition so they could potentially have a chance at winning a million dollars okay and in the midst of that happening you swayed them to vote one way from the way they thought before 
Okay, so we don't know exactly how this is going to play out, but we're just giving you the heads up, all right? So you see it coming before it happens, just in case, all right? What are we talking about? We're talking about the civil unrest. We're talking about uh, martial law, you know, troops being called out and things just getting complete, you know, out of control, all right? Or who knows, it may go off without a hitch where, you know, they have the election, everything goes according to plan. All right, but however, however it goes, just be prepared. All right, Exodus twenty-three and verse eight. It reads, "What? And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise and perverteth the words of the righteous." Right, and so many of our people, you know, they'll hey, they'll switch up just for you know a gift whether it's a monetary value or whether it's something you know physical all right and they'll even forsake what they thought they knew to be you know the truth for that gift so that's why it says and thou should take no gift for the gift blindeth the wise right you know you could be uh looked at as a wise individual but you take a gift you know and behind that gift comes what certain attachments that comes along with it all right now you taking that gift you gotta you know go along with the program <laughs> or else it says it perverted it perverted the words of the righteous all right we see that amongst israel you know those that called on the name of yahweh bahashim yahweh shai at one point in time now they hardly use that and if they do use it it's out of you know out of spite or out of you know you know, sarcasm, all right? Because why they took in that gift, all right? They took in that gift, you know, and they got to they gotta teach a what? A more friendly doctrine where they use the word Christ or Jesus and they no longer using Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, all right? So this is why we're telling the people, man, the same thing, all right? They can hit you or they can use some type of tampering and, you know, Give those votes to Harris and Watts and, hey, this thing could take a, a major swing. And then in the midst of that, civil unrest could be at, at, the, at the door. Who knows how it's going to end up or play out. But we're just telling you to keep everything on point. Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, all right, in this time of repentance, okay? So however it plays out, you're going to be looking out and be taken care of, okay? Let's get one more and then we'll get ready to close out. Revelation chapter 22. And let's go to verse six. Revelation 22 and six. And it reads, and he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord almighty of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must surely be done. Right. So, hey. One way or another, there's going to be something that happens that causes this thing to get out of control, okay? To the fact that they have to uh, come with the solution, which is going to be that chip, all right? One way or another, something's going to happen. They're going to manufacture some type of crisis, some type of chaos that's going to allow things to get so out of control that what? The only solution is going to be that micro CHIP, all right? And all we're doing is telling you to look out, be prepared, okay? Make sure you got all your ducks in a row, all right? Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure you're, you know, trying to the best of your ability to keep these law, statute, commandments, rehearsing the righteous acts, all right? Keeping the word in patience. So when all hell breaks loose, you will have confidence what you've done in this time that's allotted to you that what? If you are of the elect, the Most High is going to take care of you. All right? We can't, you know, stress this enough. Repent while there's still time. All right? Because if not, you're going to have to suffer what? You're going to have to suffer the consequences. Okay? And you don't want those consequences to come at, a, at the most inopportunity time that you can possibly think, which is Jacob's trouble. Where there's no help outside of receiving that chip, okay? And that's how it's going to be. 
for those that don't repent and those that don't have faith. Okay. So let's read that one more time. Revelation 22 and verse six. And he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. So these things are coming to pass, whether you want to believe it or not. Though it wait for it, tarry, it will surely come. It will not, it will not tarry. Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, In the Lord power of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. We in that time where things are going to start to happen, man. They must be done shortly. Okay, we're here. These prophets, these prophecies are coming quicker and quicker. All right. They're lining up. So once one takes place, it's going to have a domino effect. All right. It ain't going to be no slowing down. You getting all the time you have a lot of to you right now to get everything right. Because once these things start to happen, that's it. Prophecies are on the roll, man. He, they say, get in where you fit in. Well, once these prophecies start to roll and you ain't already in, it's going to be damn near impossible to get in. Okay. Unless the Lord really, you know, shows mercy and puts you in the path of one of his servants, the prophets, to tell you exactly what's going on. Other than that, outside of that, you may be on your own trying to find the light in the dark. <laughs> trying to find that uh, switch to cut on the light in the dark. And you got, what, that devouring lion right behind you, okay? So, hey, continue to play and think you got all the time in the world. And, hey, we'll see exactly how that, that, that uh, plays out for you, all right? Let's close and take it up with 1 Peter 5 and 8, and then we'll, you know, sign out. This is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. And it reads, be sober, be vigilant. You see, you're supposed to be watching, okay? You're supposed to be sober. You're supposed to know exactly the things that this devil can do. And be prepared, man, all right? They all work together, okay? They under the impression are having you to believe that they're under the impression that they're going against each other when in actuality, they're all working together, all right? They're just giving you, the consumer, a product, whether you want to take this one or that one, but the product ends in the same what? It ends in the same what? You should know it by now. It ends in the same result. <laughs> Everything is leading to, to uh, towards that chip, all right? No matter how you want to look at it, no matter if you think... You know, Russia and China and America is going back and forth at it. Everything is leading to that chip, man. Okay? In one way, shape, or another, everything is leading to that chip because it's going to affect the whole earth, man. All right? Everything. He causes all. Who is the he? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right? The one that's in rulership right now. He's going to make it mandatory for everyone on the face of this earth to get that chip. Whether it's a chip, you know, to the liking of those that's in that country or this country, it's all going to be on the same system, man. They're just giving you the illusion of picking when in actuality you're picking what they want you to pick. OK, so be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion, walk up about, not running, walk up about. Why would he not have to run but can walk? Because you already made the mistake or you already came under the impression that you believe anything that he tells you to. When it tells us in Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, never trust thy enemy for his iron rust of soul shall his wickedness. Roughly paraphrasing it, okay? But you trusted in him. So now he can just walk because he already know the outcome. He already know where you're going to end up at. So he can meet you there. <laughs> you know? So it says. It says. Seeking whom he may devour. All those that have no clue on what's going on. Easy work. Those that don't believe. Easy work. <laughs> it's going to be easy work, man. No need to run. You see, when you set up such a narrative to the fact that you got people coming to, you know, 
cast a vote or even signing a petition in this case for a million dollars, you don't got to run. You can walk. You can even have a seat and they'll come to you. That million dollar, that's that gift that destroyed the heart. Okay? Just think. People thinking, well, a million dollars could change my life dramatically. <laughs> that's the mindset, you see? Imagine if he say, well, you take this chip, we're going to put a million dollars on that chip for you. Man, the people going to run down there, man. That's why he ain't got to do that much work. He could just walk. All right? So, you know, be very mindful. Be sober. Be circumspect. Keep your head on the swivel. All right? What's small that you may think could potentially turn out being something catastrophic? Okay? So we're going to wrap that up with that. You know, pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong. Stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom. Peace.